Hi, I'll fix it here. Hey, we're going to do a uh, light switch, and it's really not hard. We're going to change it out to a dimmer so that we can uh, dim this uh, hall light. So it's going to be really simple and easy. Let me show you how I do it, okay? Hang in there. Of course, you're going to need a screwdriver. I use a four-way screwdriver. This is a Stanley. And uh, you're going to need uh, maybe some wire cutters and things here. So, heck, you might not even need all of these. Uh, put on my glasses. You're going to need those. I, I need those. <laughs> we'll get this to a little flat screwdriver and get this cover off of here. Anyways, now that I got this open, there's a screw top and bottom. Keep in mind, I still have the power on, so we're going to be very careful while we do this until we get that power turned off. Like, for example, don't put your fingers in here and get in into those wires. There we go. <clears throat> now, carefully, because the power's still on, yep. pull this out. And you can see right here, two screw connections and a ground. Alright, so now, it's time to turn the power off. Can I just turn off the switch? No. Let's go turn off the breaker. Now we know when I get the right breaker, because that light will go out. Okay, I got the power turned off, and I know because everything's still connected and the light went out. So, now, power's off. When I take something out here like this apart, first thing I do is get my... my phone out and take a picture so that whatever I undo if it don't work out and I want to go back to what I had uh, this way I have a picture of everything and the wires and which way they go now we can start undoing things for example we got a red wire oh the red wires poked in over here I don't like this kind of a connection where they poke the wire in I, it's much more positive if you wrap the wire around the screw Let's go ahead and take these off. These are wrapped around. Two that are wrapped around, and then a third one is poked in the back. Sometimes, you know, these plugged-in wires can just be twisted out of here a lot of times because they don't hold too good. Or, you can, there's another little hole here, and if you take a very small screwdriver, you can sometimes poke it in the other little hole, and that releases this. And it's not releasing it now, just because I want to show you. The other thing to do, since we have plenty of wires sticking through on these, we can just cut them off, because... Now let's open up this new one and see how does it go on here. By the way, in your case, you might, uh, quite often, you'll have just a black and white wire here. There is white wires in here. They're all hooked together. And in this case, the switch is hooked between the red wire and the black wires. So, here in the back of the switch, you're going to only have, basically you got three wires here. So what we're going to do is stick this green wire, of course, is just a ground. It's going to go on this ground wire. And then the, uh, the black, we're going to hook the, uh, one of these to the red and the other one to all these black ones. Just so you understand how a switch works, let's see, here we go. So all, all this is, is interrupting the power to the light. All those black wires on one side and we had a red wire on the other side. So that tells me that the power is being interrupted with this switch. And so I can do the same thing. All the black wires on one side and the red wire on the other side. Here's what we're going to do. We got the usual, the ground. They all have a ground. And we have these two wires here so that the power is going in one and out the other until you flip the switch and interrupt it. Okay, and it don't matter which way this goes. So you can reverse these. And it don't really matter. So I'll show you. These came with the package, by the way, these uh, little wire nets. That's very handy. So I, I like to hook up this ground. Let's get that going. 
There, now we got the ground wire hooked on the green one there. And now we got this red wire. That's going up to the light. So let's get any one of these black wires can go. One of them has to go to this red wire going to the light. Now this is a little tricky. We got all these black wires together here. So we got uh, three black wires hooked together. That's okay. Now with this one, we're going to make good four black wires to together. Well, let's just run them all about the same distance to the end and then wind it up with a wire nut. So now, if you can see, there's power coming through here unless you interrupt it. And it's going up here and on through the red, red wire is going up to that light. Before we stuff all this back in there, I'm going to turn on the power and test it and just uh, see what's going on uh, with it. I turn on the power, touch things carefully when you first cut, come back to test things to make sure you're not going to get zapped or something, right? Okay, now this theoretically we have a dimmer. Yes, we do. And it's working perfectly. Oh, by the way, there is an adjustment. On the side, the little blue thing. I don't know if you can see the little blue thing right here on the side. So what you want to do is adjust to where your light is barely on. So you want it to be right down there at the bottom when it's, when it's supposed to be really super dim. You want it to adjust that little blue thing so it is just super dim. I'm looking at the light up above and I have this set on really dim. And I move the blue thing until it is really dim. Because now I think I have it just right. Okay, so we can put this all back together now. I usually stuff the ground way back up in there, out of the way first. Okay, then we just uh, fold all these other ones up here. We have to get things back up in pretty far because this, because this thing is actually, you know, fairly thick and it has to have room to go in there. There, I think we got enough room now. Get this started right here. Now before you get this completely tight, you want to kind of center back and forth. Usually it's just a thing with a screw top and bottom. Let's see how this works. It looks like a screw on and then a snap on kind of a thing. And this is the screw on part. Okay. Uh, down in the description I'll put the uh, where you can get some of the tools that I use and uh, you know if you order something on Amazon and you go to my link first and uh, order. It doesn't matter what you buy. If you go to my link first, then I get a little benefit from it. I've never been able to really make money doing that, but hey, I keep hoping. You know, it seems to me like this is not going in all the way. I got to take this off and take another look at it. Oh, I see. The screw can't go in all the way. Because it's the, the box is right behind the screw hole. Well, that's interesting. The plastic box that's in the wall actually comes across right behind, right behind the screw hole. And there's no way the screw is just going to go in and touch and hit that box and not really go in. Now, I don't know why that's particularly a problem here with this, but I'm going to get a little drill and, and drill that uh, out a little in there so that the screw ha can go on further. Very interesting, unusual uh, problem, I think. Yeah. Well, it seems to be working. What I did, I'm learning as I go. You guys are, some of you out there are professionals. You can tell me. And feel free to tell me. <laughs> okay, that's just, uh, seems to be pretty cool. Works.
goes on there. Okay, I'll fix it here. We did it. We got this uh, dimmer switch put on. Now, I think it's unusual to have to have one of these and put, put in there the way I did. So, uh, if you know better uh, what's going on, why that happened, hey, put it in the comments or whatever. Let me know. Anyway, I'll fix it here. Adios, amigos. Ciao. And hit the like button and stuff. You know what to do. Bye.